fellas, uh, let's talk about the movie. A great idea. Now, uh, the movie is called Studio 666. Six, six, six. Yeah, it's a horror. It's film. a horror film starring the Foo <clears throat> Fighters with many guest appearances. I was looking for a place for us to like demo music, not in the studio. Maybe rent a house, like just find a house. And coincidentally, my landlord from ten years ago, this house in the movie, I lived in that house ten years ago while I was remodeling oh, wow. my place down the street. He's like, "Hey, I'm going to sell the place. Do you want to buy it?" And I was like, "No, um, but if we could rent it to record some shit in there, that'd be cool." He's like, "Great." So we move in there and we start demoing stuff. And then I was like, wait a second. We're in this creepy old house. We could fucking make the record, take two weeks off, and then make some really quick, low-budget slasher gore bullshit film just for fun. So then I came up with this idea. I was like, oh, uh, you know what? Okay, Foo Fighters move into a creepy house. House turns out to, to be haunted. I become possessed. I kill the whole fucking band, and then I go solo. That was the basic right. premise of the whole thing. And so I thought, well, that'll be fun, you know. And there, all the guys were like, "Yeah, why not? What the fuck? We've been, we've done stupider shit than that." And right. uh, then all of a sudden, it was like, then there were screenwriters, then there's a fucking table read, then there's a fucking special effect, and then it turned into a full length feature film. And we're just like, "Holy shit!" Well, let me ask you this because it is a risk, and I'm sure Taylor and you had this feeling. You know, you're a band with a lot of credibility. And sometimes that can stifle creativity. It's a fun idea on paper for the Foo Fighters to go make a movie and to, to do that. But you got to say to yourself, wait, we're the Foo Fighters. People love our music. If we make a fucking shitty movie and if we're like too goofy in it, we could end up actually being the monkeys and our music won't be taken seriously. We're Absolutely not. Uh, yeah, you have we're... to look at the 26 years <clears throat> of those fucking videos that we've been making. We're like, right. you know, people on the airplane. And if I, yeah, I mean, we've, it's like, if any band was going to do this, it was going to be us. And it's that thing where it's, I think people appreciate us for that side of what we do. It's like, we make records, we take those really fucking seriously. We go out and we play shows, we take that really fucking seriously. We want to make great songs, we want to be the best live band in the world. Everything outside of that, it's like, come on. Like, what are we going to, like, are we going to try to look like this cool, handsome rock band? And like, yeah, we're like the, you know, the saviors of rock and roll. Fuck that dude. I mean, we have right. so little it, time. Why not? Why not do it? 